Character, culture, and Christ have been the motto for Southern Nazarene University for many, many years. When I came as president, uh, I was really curious about those words and really curious to dig into the archives. In fact, a conversation on campus uh, one day with a visitor to our campus who asked that same question, what does character, culture, and Christ mean today? These days I like to talk about refining character. I think that we're all in process and in those collegiate years, those years of a university experience, there's a great opportunity to refine character. It's a beautiful morning, Scotty, and we have an early game today. That injured list, it's getting longer by the minute. Not to mention, uh, there's apparently a nasty virus sweeping through the locker room. Yeah, but these players, they're in good hands. All of them need to feel their best this season, Scotty. Yes, they do, Jack, because this team is on track to win it all this year. Every day, Mercy's team is ready to take care of yours, bringing you the care you need now. Find out all the ways to access Mercy at mercynow.net. favorite things about SNU was the relationships I was able to have with people, with professors, with friends. One thing that was purposely different about SNU was the integration of faith into the academics. I feel like I learned so much from that that helped prepare me for life after college, to be a husband and someday to be a father. It was a really, really transformational time in my life. My degree could have come from anywhere, but my relationships with people, I know I would not have gotten anywhere else. Go to snu.edu to apply or to schedule a visit. Renew is the University Counseling Center. We are located at 6710 Northwest 43rd Street, just north of the Webster Commons. Renew offers a variety of services, including individual counseling, couples counseling, and psychoeducational workshops. The first five sessions for students are free, and students will never pay more than $10 per session. Faculty counseling is just $40 per session. Renew is open Monday through Thursday from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m., and Fridays from 11 a.m. until 6 p.m. For more information, visit renew.snu.edu or email renew at mail.snu.edu. And welcome to the Sawyer Center. I'm Grant McNude, soon to be joined by Evan Rader, where Southern Nazarene University, led by Kaylee Brubaker and the gang, is getting ready to take on Southern Arkansas, the Mule Riders out of Magnolia, Arkansas. It's number five against number six in the GAC. Both teams coming in four and four in conference play. A big match up here in Bethany, Oklahoma. Should be a fun one. Grab your popcorn, grab your drinks, Get ready to sit back, relax, and watch some excellent volleyball here on the Call Sports Network on the SNU Athletics YouTube channel. This is going to be a good one. Like I said, SNU led by Kaylee Brubaker and crew. Brubaker coming in with 33 assists yesterday against Arkansas Monticello in the sweep for the Crimson Storm. That was a big one that pushed SNU to 500 in conference play. SAU on the other side of things faced off against Oklahoma Baptist where they fell to four and four in conference play, reaching 500 in their conference season. Listen, all alone here in the pregame show, wearing the sunglasses, it's sunglasses night here in the Sawyer Center. Listen here, this comes in from the sources themselves, SNU's volleyball team, the present and the future so bright you gotta put your shades on. You absolutely have to, especially if you're gonna be rocking 
big crowd expected to be on hand tonight. This one, an important game, the game to watch of the afternoon in the Great American Conference. Again, SNU, four and four, 14 and seven overall, rather 13 and seven overall this season. They're sitting fifth overall in the GAC, a spot ahead of SAU, the Mule Riders coming to play. Looking at the past few games for SNU, they played at Harding. We've talked about that a few times, so they lost two to three. That really being the highlight of the last few games, the big match that you look at when you're saying, okay, what is this SNU squad capable of? You felt like a team that was going into that game just was falling short of what they were capable of. They play Harding, they play the Bisons, take them to five, felt like they were gonna win it in four. Instead, service error from Malden doesn't quite go SNU's way. They can't seal the deal in the fifth either. And here we are, four and four, sitting fifth overall in conference play. They did, however, sweep Arkansas Tech in that trip to Arkansas. They also swept Arkansas Monticello. So far, it has been all SNU against the natural state outside of a few matchups here and there. Looking at the notes for this game, it, historically speaking, SNU has been in control of Southern Arkansas in this one. Overall, SNU leads this series 10 and two. First matchup of this series came in 1995, where SAU beat SNU three to one. But the next day, SNU returned the favor, the very next day, where they returned it with a three to one win of their own. Their next meeting after that came all the way in 2012, took a few years to get there, where SAU swept the Crimson Storm. But since then, it's been all SNU as they now lead the series 10 to two. Listen, looking at this offense, for Southern Arkansas. They're gonna have a balanced attack that's going to be led by Katie DeLong and senior leader Morgan Schuster. Schuster, the main passer on the squad, leading SAU in assists with 378. She's also leading them in service aces with 28, coming in as an absolute dynamic weapon for the Mule Riders. Second in kills for SAU is Jada Hudson, the junior out of Grandview, Texas. She's got 122 followed by Lauren Moultrie, the third place marker with 117. She's also first in blocks for the Mule Riders. Moultrie with 69 total blocks this season. She's been an absolute force at the net for SAU. On the defensive side as well, Mary Insulaco leading the team in digs with 206, an absolutely phenomenal marker for her at 206, not just double digits, but in the 200s. Absolutely incredible. Isla Olivas being the fourth figure in this balanced attack for SAU with 106 kills on the season. Macy Shaver, also another good passer. And we're just throwing stats at you right here, absolutely tossing them at you. I hope you're reading them, hope you're hearing them and listening and understanding, hey, this is a very good Southern Arkansas team. This is a team that comes in, they know how to play well, they know how to play against solid opponents. And they understand that on paper, this is an even matchup. This is a matchup that a lot of eyes are on to say, okay, who can gain separation in the GAC? Who can be the lone five seed here in the Great American Conference moving in? And again, we talked about this yesterday. The five seed is the highest marker that anybody on Southern Nazarene squad has ever had to end the season. Nobody has ever been greater than the five seed. So if you win here, if you're SNU, if you win here, you've got a chance to line yourself up to really make history in the eyes of all of the, the people on the roster, all of the girls on the roster, as well, for, uh, wow, as well as for head coach Kevin Ingram, and we'll talk a little bit about his resume later on. But for right now, we're getting ready for some starting lineups, the national anthem, the invocation, all of the pregame jitters will soon be out of the way. We've got a lot coming your way. Great volleyball, don't go away. Don't turn that dial. Get up, get your snack now. Don't wait till later. Get your drink now. Don't wait till later. You've got great volleyball coming your way. We'll be right back after this. Character, culture, and Christ have been the motto for Southern Nazarene University for many, many years. When I came as president, uh, I was really curious about those words and really curious to dig into the archives. In fact, a conversation on campus uh, one day with a visitor to our campus who asked that same question, what does character, culture, and Christ mean today? These days I like to talk about refining character. I think that we're all in process and in those collegiate years, those years of a university experience, there's a great opportunity to refine character.
It's a beautiful morning, Scotty, and we have an early game today. That injured list, it's getting longer by the minute. Not to mention, uh, there's apparently a nasty virus sweeping through the locker room. Yeah, but these players, they're in good hands. All of them need to feel their best this season, Scotty. Yes, they do, Jack, because this team is on track to win it all this year. Every day, Mercy's team is ready to take care of yours, bringing you the care you need now. Find out all the ways to access Mercy at mercynow.net.
And welcome back to Bobby Martin Court at the Sawyer Center. I'm Grant McNew, joined by Evan Raider. Evan, it is wonderful to have you along. It's great to be here, Grant. I'm just excited to see some good volleyball, and hey, let's let these girls play, come on. Absolutely, hey, it is sunglasses night here in the Sawyer Center, home of the Southern Nazarene Crimson Storm. You've got yours on, I've got mine on. Oh, yeah. No one can see our eyes. But we look good. We do look wonderful. We look good. Wonderful. Someone told me earlier, with these pink sunglasses that were gifted to me, that I look like I belong in the Barbie movie. You do, you do. You Thank look just you. like Ken. Just like, which Ken? Uh, probably the main one, if I had to say. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> hey, we're getting ready for a big one. Up in front of us, four and four in conference, Southern Nazarene against four and four in conference, Southern Arkansas, Battle of the Southerns. This one should be a lot of fun. Oh, it will. Just about ready to go. SAU will be led by Morgan Schuster, the senior, standing 5'11", leading the team in assists with 378 and service aces with 28. Morgan Schuster starting things off for SAU and Sonny Bachelet attacking early will be a bit off the mark. And SAU will take the first point of the afternoon. Schuster at it again. Smith picks up the serve, now Brubaker. We'll get it over to SAU, the attack. That time by Rogers, nothing doing. Bachelet, that one popped up at the net. Good defensive play. Chance here, Conaway. She finds the hole, man. That's man, crazy. she found it, but they'll call it. Wow, a net violation against her point, SAU. That one hurts, she thought she had it. Schuster at it again. Malden, over to Brubaker. Now Kaylee looking back to Malden, Ray. She's gonna get it. Evan, did you like that? Um, what a kill. Yeah, it was, it was absolutely. It was amazing. Now Malden will serve the freshman. SAU picks it up cleanly. Now the attack, that one was Lauren Moultrie, nothing doing. Blocked Bachelet now. Sonny, no. Now near side, that one is going to be way out. Katie DeLong hit that a little bit too long. All the way in Texas, baby. <laughs> yes. Knotted up at two apiece. Ray Malden will serve. Now the lineup to the far side. Dig from Lynch. Brubaker now to Tessa Henry. Henry will push. Won't get it. Now on the near side, DeLong again, no, got it blocked. DeLong this time won't get it either. Brubaker looking down the middle, Conway got it blocked, she'll pass it back over. Now on the far side, over to Rogers. Rogers, no call it in. She finds the corner. Man, just barely, SNU thought it was out. My judge disagrees. Only one opinion matters. I guess three in this case right there, three different. Referees. Malden. Tough reception. Now Bachelet on the attack. Sonny. Bring them to their knees. She'll get the kill. Good set. Good spike. Goodbye. That's what I there see. you go. Now you're getting into it, Evan. Abby Conaway, the sophomore, will line up and serve. Oh, serve, giving them trouble, a chance to end it. Ohika falling to her back. Chance for SAU. They'll convert. They take the lead back, 
We've got a volleyball player to our right. We do. Great. Oh, he's rocking the, the, the Heelys. No Who's way. Back in fourth grade. Oh my Everybody goodness. Brubaker sets the bachelorette far side. Sonny with the kill. Nothing you can do with Sonny Bachelorette at the net. Absolutely not. Deadly. Brecken Myers will come in to serve. Myers looking for that corner, tough serve. It's picked up well. The attack on the near side from DeLong will score. She'll get the kill. This one picked to be a neck and neck battle all the way through. A lot of people think it'll go through five. We'll see, right now it's four to five. It stayed close. Malden passes it over. Chance for the Mule Riders. They're looking down the middle. That's going to be there. They find it once again. Isla Olivas got it with the kill. Now Macy Shaver will serve. Brubaker looking to Henry. Tessa, bit of an awkward punch over, but she gets it. Now it's Jada Hudson. Blocked at the net. I say you a chance down the middle. They won't get it that time. Tessa Henry pokes it up. Brubaker back to Henry. Tessa got it blocked. Beautiful dig from Lynch. Ball still alive. Malden passes over. Chance for the Mule Riders. They'll look near side. Again, Malden that time getting dirty. Another beautiful save. Tessa Henry. They'll call it against SAU. Point storm. Come on. Man, those long points, if you can get those, you're in business. Tatum Smith into serve. The serve from Smith received. Now to the far side, looking for Whaley. No. Now Mojica. She won't get a chance to finish. Malden. Like it's nothing. Routine hit. We'll take that every day. Wow. Six six. That serve out for Tatum. Evan, I'm over here running production and play-by-play -play at the same time, in case you didn't notice. I know, you're just killing it, man. Yeah, so everybody with complaints, give me a break. I mean. Come is on. there anything you can't do? There are, I cannot fly. Ah, uh, true. Tough kill on the far side. That one off the hands of Landry Rogers. Defense got a touch, it's just gonna shoot off to the side. 6-8. Mojica! Yes! See you later. That's another one down for the Crimson Storm. Seven to eight. Madeline Lynch will serve. The Wheelies have returned. The Heelys, rather. That's incredible. I'm so happy those still exist. Lynch giving them trouble. They'll get it over, but a chance for the Storm. Man, miscue on the set. Myers is able to get it over. The dump, beautiful execution that time from Macy Shaver. That'll make it 7-9. Now Olivas will serve. Picked up by Smith. Now Conaway looking for Malden. Myers steps in front of her. Yeah, Miscommunication. Yeah, Evan, those are things you cannot have in a match like this. It's the little things, Grant. It sneaks up on you. You sound like a student athlete. Brubaker, looking for Malden. Malden, she's looking for contact. They'll say none was there. I think I agree with that call. Timeout call by head coach Kevin Ingram. I think we'll take this one with them. You're watching Southern Nazarene Volleyball on the Call Sports Network. Score 7-11. We'll be right back.
Character, culture, and Christ have been the motto for Southern Nazarene University for many, many years. When I came as president, uh, I was really curious about those words and really curious to dig into the archives. In fact, a conversation on campus uh, one day with a visitor to our campus who asked that same question, what does character, culture, and Christ mean today? These days I like to talk about refining character. I think that we're all in process and in those collegiate years, those years of a university experience, there's a great opportunity to refine character. And welcome back. Let's take a look at the resume of head coach Kevin Ingram. Called Kingram from time to time from his players. They love him. He's currently in his 23rd season at Southern Nazarene University. He's got 442 career wins coming into tonight. He's achieved 20 wins or more in 12 separate seasons, having reached the GAC tournament eight times since 2014. This man is just the definition of consistency. He really is absolutely consistent. You love to see it. He started coaching SNU in 2001. Wow. Evan, trivia question. Were either of us alive during that time? No, we were not. Oh, Believe man, you're not. so good. You yeah. are so correct. Yeah. The serve to get things going out of the timeout. Brubaker looking for Malden. Malden got it. Touch on the net. She floated to that ball. She's so athletic. How about that? Like I always say, Grant, net results are awesome. Yeah, you always say that. <laughs> Kaylee Brubaker will serve. Chance to finish. They'll get it. Conaway, the sophomore. Get that out my face. And that was a nice spot, seeing the whole SAU team was scooted up, just hit it right over their heads. That was beautiful. Brubaker to serve. She'll give them trouble. Brubaker with the ace. 10-11, Edison U trailing one. Brubaker to serve once more. Received well this time. Chance looking for Rogers. Rogers sent back off the hands of Sonny Bachelet. It was out off of her hands. Thought she had it for a moment. Instead, SAU will take another point. Grant, it's hard to keep those blocks in between the lines, man. They just. Yeah, you would know. We'll see Morgan Schuster serve now. Malden, looking for Kaylee Brubaker. Now Sunny Bachelet, she got it. Sunny, bouncing off the hands of Jada Hudson. Can't touch this, right in her face. I thought you were about to sing. It's gonna get excited. Now Malden to serve. Uh oh, trouble, Sunny. How do you like it? We're knotted up at 12. Can you dig it? Because I say you can't. Oh, Evan. Oh, <laughs> that was good. That was good. Far side, Rogers. She's going to get it. Evan, can you take it? Because SNU couldn't That's, right there. Oh, they could not. No, they hit us back with one. Landry Rogers to serve. She's been phenomenal this season for SAU. Service error that time, though. And the student section not necessarily packed out, Evan. A lot going on around campus. But the rest of the crowd really showed up for both sides. They really did. Conaway, her serve. Again, another chance to end it. Early, couldn't do it. Brubaker looking at Bachelet. Far side. Sonny read it. Beautiful. 14-13. SNU back on top here in set number one. Conway to serve again. And that one's gonna be out. Service there. We're tied at 14.
Oh, the Healy kid just dribbled off his shoe. You hate to see it. It's unfortunate. Alicia Sonzini. Gets the ace. Now Sonzini to serve again. This time it's picked up by Branson. Now Bachelet finds it again. Exact same spot for Sonny Bachelet. She'll knot it up at 15. And the kill that time off the hands of Katie DeLong. That was a good approach by her. Macy Shaver will serve. Lynch to Brubaker for the dump. Great dig that time by Whaley. Now Henry keeps it alive. Back to Tessa, she's gonna keep it soft. They'll look near side to Whaley. Whaley sent back. Meet us at the net. Denied. Tessa. No for that one. 16, 16 in set number one. Tatum Smith to serve. SAU looking to Whaley. She can't get it, Myers with the dig. Now, Malden, wide open, Ray Malden. Tatum Smith, her serve. Giving a little trouble to SAU. They'll pass it over. They'll call a violation against the Mule Riders. You love to see it. Handling violation that time. 18-16. Evan, are you having a good time? I'm having a great time, Grant. That's what I like to hear. Tatum Smith. Lining it up for Carlin Whaley. Can't get it over. Can't do it. 19-16, and a timeout called by SAU. We'll take this one with them and be right back after this. Welcome back to the Sawyer Center. Evan, are you having fun? You asked me earlier and I'm still having fun. That's good, it's you know, it wasn't that here. much earlier, so I was really hoping it would stay the same. I'm glad it has, glad it has. Hey, 19-16 is the score, SNU up here in set number one. And I love to see our Crimson Storm pulling away. Hopefully we can uh, secure this set and then yeah. keep it going. For sure, absolutely. Tatum Smith will step in and serve. Evan, do you have any prior broadcasting experience? I'm just I do wondering. I have any prior broadcasting experience. That's this impressive. This is my first time. This is your first time. Yes. I'll never forget my first time. Me neither. It was at a high school football game. Really? It was, back in Arkansas. Did you guys win? No, we, that's why I was on the mic, because it was so bad. They didn't want to be on the mic. We were getting destroyed. That's okay. That ball's out. They'll say contact made, point. SAU. Yeah, we were playing, I believe it was the Harrison Goblins, who were up by 40 at half, something like that. I got on the uh, broadcast as Tatum Smith receives that over to Brubaker. 
Now Malden will hit it over. I got on the broadcast and said, yeah, cornerbacks, watch the hips. You know, the hips, they don't lie. And then we just quoted Shakira for a little bit. Wow. Yes. That's a legendary moment in sports. That one blocked at the net, sent back, but off the mark. SAU creeping back, it's 19-18. We've got some interesting things going on with our sound. That was on me, Evan. I don't think anyone at home could hear that, but that was on me. Lynch to Brubaker, now Malden, Ray. Beautiful hit. Yes! Twenty eighteen Lynch will serve. SAU setting towards the near side. They'll get it. Whaley was right there. And it was tipped at the net, but it found its way through. It really did. Strong attack from Carlin. Tatum Smith with the reception. Over to Brubaker. Now it's Malden, blocked to the net. Connolly kept it alive for a moment, but it's not enough. As we're knotted up at 20. They've got a tight one here in set one. They do. Isla Olivas with the serve. Now the set, near side, Malden, Rana, Absolutely. can't get it. Now Whaley blocked at the net, but it falls on the wrong side. The defensive positioning is there, it's just not falling right now for SNU. And a timeout call by head coach Kevin Ingram. Evan, Great. should we keep it here or go to commercial break? Your call. Let's keep it with us. We'll keep it right here then. So you don't have any prior broadcasting experience, but you do have some athletic experience. You are a member of which team on campus? I'm a member of the football team on campus. Yes, you are. You are the second football player to put on this headset for volleyball this I season. I am. Seth Sproul. So between you and Seth Sproul, Seth being a linebacker, you being a receiver, do you think he could cover you if you ran her out? Now, my ego would like to say no, okay. but the facts, they scream yes. Has he ever defended you? Yes, he has. Oh, I run against him in scout almost every day. And he strapped you up. I would say he strapped me up. As the kids are saying. I wouldn't say he strapped me up, but <laughs> I did not catch the ball. <laughs> Nevertheless. That sounds like it may have been your fault if you just didn't catch it. It, it might have been my fault. <laughs> Off the books. Oh, man. Hey, 21-20, what have you seen so far, Evan, that you like from SNU? I mean, I've seen some great blocks. We've, Like you said earlier, we've got great positioning. It's just the trouble of just getting it back over the net, you know? Yeah. I mean, that's the main point of the game. <laughs> and yeah, some would say so. And this team, once we get rolling, we seem to we seem to be doing really good, but. Yeah, so so far this season, to your point, the first set has usually been the rough set for mm -hmm. SNU. And with it being close like this, that might be a good sign. It might be. Brubaker, finding Conaway. Yeah, she gets the kill. First glance, Stan Judge thought maybe it fell on the wrong side, but it did not. That one was a brain teaser right there. I didn't know which one it was either. Optical illusion. Kaylee Brubaker will serve. 21 all, the junior lines up to serve. I was set from SAU down the middle. They're gonna get that kill. Finds it. That was Lauren Moultrie, the junior. Big time attack from her. Now Morgan Schuster, a 5'11 senior out of Arlington, Texas, will line up and serve. Malden, over to Brubaker now down the middle. Somehow kept alive by the Mule Riders. SNU another chance, Brubaker looking for Bachelet. She keeps it soft, kept alive again, SAU. Hits it over, deep shot. They're gonna find the corner and reach the 23rd point. SAU's hit down but not out. That's not what you wanna see. The if Mule Riders up two. Looking strong right now. 
Madeline Lynch. Man, miscue. And SAU needs one more to seal the first set. Malden has Brubaker back to Malden. Rihanna can't get it. Chance for the Mule Riders. They will seal set number one. 25 to 21, not the first set you were looking for, but Evan, we just talked about it. The first sets have been rough this season for it, SNU. It does seem to take us a while to get going, but once we get going, it's like a boulder downhill, man. We just cannot be stopped. A lot of takeaways you can take right there, but we're gonna take away a break. I'll be right back. After these messages, you're watching SNU Volleyball on the call, Sports Network. Character, culture, and Christ have been the motto for Southern Nazarene University for many, many years. When I came as president, uh, I was really curious about those words and really curious to dig into the archives. In fact, a conversation on campus uh, one day with a visitor to our campus who asked that same question, what does character, culture, and Christ mean today? These days, I like to talk about refining character. I think that we're all in process. and. In those collegiate years, those years of a university experience, there's a great opportunity to refine character. It's a beautiful morning, Scotty, and we have an early game today. That injured list, it's getting longer by the minute. Not to mention, uh, there's apparently a nasty virus sweeping through the locker room. Yeah, but these players, they're in good hands. All of them need to feel their best this season, Scotty. Yes, they do, Jack, because this team is on track to win it all this year. Every day, Mercy's team is ready to take care of yours, bringing you the care you need now. Find out all the ways to access Mercy at mercynow.net. Welcome back to the Sawyer Center. I'm Grant McNew alongside Evan Rader. SNU just dropped the first set, but let's take a look at their last five matchups of the season. Just yesterday, they swept Arkansas Monticello here at home. Prior to that was against the Newman Jets, where they swept them as well. Then it was at Harding, where they lost in five. After that, rather before that, was at Arkansas Tech, where they swept Tech. Then they saw Southwestern Oklahoma State, where they lost one to three. So you see, two of the last five were losses, and those losses were tough. But Evan, two wins in a row, back-to-back -back sweeps. You feel like maybe something's brewing for the storm. A little bit of momentum for us. Yeah, that's, that's really what we need, especially coming into such a competitive game like this. You know, hopefully we can keep it going in the second set and uh, make something happen, have a little bit of a turnaround. Southern Arkansas won the first set, 25-21. SNU looking to strike back here in the second. Evan, shake it like a Polaroid picture. You gotta shake it, man. You got to. This song is so good. It I is. love it's it. It's timeless. It's a, it's a true classic. So true. I don't know if it, up, if, if it will ever go out. Goodness. I sure hope not. Words are difficult. Kaylee Brubaker will serve for the Storm. One picked up well, chance for SAU to strike early. They won't get it. Conway. We'll see you, ball. No, ma'am. She said, not in my backyard. <laughs> she did, she I did. heard it. <laughs> I, I think I did too, all the way up here. <laughs> Brubaker to serve again. Oh 
SIU with a little trouble. He'll pass it over. Now the Storm looking for oh. Bachelet, man. Tough spot, had an opportunity, couldn't convert. Tried the finger roll, but just couldn't get it over the net. Yeah. And she's been very consistent with those, those soft touches because they expect her to spike it with how many kills she's had. And it, and it's been working, but might need to switch it up. Conaway, was there contact? There was! She'll get the kill. Southern Nazarene up one now. Evan had a late night doing homework. I watched Oh Brother Where Art Thou while doing some logic homework. You did? Yes, have you ever seen that movie? I have not. Oh, you're missing out. Missing out big time. Attack far side, man. Strong kill from Katie DeLong. If anyone told you that this is a bad SAU team, let me be the first to tell you they were wrong. Man, it's something they're great at. They can always just find a spot in our defense. They do see the floor they so do. well. That one's going to be out. Service error for Alicia Sanzini. In a very rare serve. I mean, most of these serves have been, have been played. Yeah. Not a lot of out. Conaway. Man. Bounces back off the net. You thought that one might roll over, but it did not. We're knotted up at three apiece. Macy Shaver. She'll serve for the Mule Riders. Now Mojica on the attack, got it blocked at the net, kept alive, and that's you a chance. Man, Bachelet got a touch, but it wasn't enough. SAU will get the kill. Very uncharacteristic volley for the Storm. Indeed. Shaver serve into the net. We've now seen three service errors already in set two. And right after I point out the lack of them. Yeah. I don't know what kind of power you hold, Evan. I don't know. But it's something. Brecken Myers. She'll serve. Keep it low. Brecken Myers giving them trouble. Wow. Giving them chaos. Taking a point with the ace. Ace, ace in your face, and that's what I like to see, Grant. <laughs> yeah. Why not? Why not? Myers. Another tough serve. This one picked up. They'll attack. They'll hit it out. Point storm. Six four. Can't keep it in the lines. A lot like me and coloring sheets, man. <laughs> you struggle with that, don't you? I do. And good touch. Myers kept it alive. Great dive by Lynch. And it's passed over. SAU back at it. Sent back. Tessa. No chance. Get that out of here. 7 4. Timeout called. We'll take it with them and be right back. SNU with something brewing. Here we go. And welcome back here into the Sawyer Center. Let's take a look at the last five matchups for Southern Arkansas. They just got done getting swept by Oklahoma Baptist out in Shawnee. They also have faced East Central, the Tigers, where they won in five. They lost to Southeastern Oklahoma State, one to three, beat Washtenaw Baptist in three in Magnolia. And they lost at Arkadelphia against Henderson State. 
in a sweep. And Grant, don't let the, the losses fool you. Those are some tough teams to play. No, they really are. And the GAC, and I've said this to a lot of people, man, it's tight this year. It is. A lot of parity, a lot of tight competition. Some speculate because of the transfer portal, there's, there's more balance. Yeah, the NIL. Millions oh, yeah. of dollars at play. Oh, yeah. Anyone listening just know that was a lie. <laughs> <laughs> now the attack, far side, into the net, point storm. I should probably put the scoreboard on the screen. And we can add that to the net points, Grant. Yeah, we can. 8-4, Storm holding on to the lead. Myers to serve. The dump, nice defensive touch. Look all a violation against SAU and give the point to SNU. Nice little effect you just saw right there for the fans at home. Scores 9-4. <laughs> the attack. Near side, what a dig! Oh wow. my goodness, Madeline Lynch! Now Myers finds Brubaker, Mojica to finish Beautiful. it! Beautiful. Denia! Get him! It's 10 4. And Madeline Lynch put that on the highlight reel. Incredible dig from her. Myers to serve. They'll look near side, that's Tanner. Can't get it. Back corner and they'll call a violation against the Storm. And that's rough to see too, because that was a beautiful spot in the back corner. So it was six straight for SNU to reach 10. And the Mule Riders will take it to make it 10 to five. And our student section did not like that. They're booing. Not even a little bit. Myers, long hit, picked up, SAU setting to the far side. They'll get the kill. Carlin Whaley, the Magnolia native, hometown hero. Brings home point number six here in set two. Malden finds Brubaker. Miranda looking for Tessa. Tessa couldn't finish that one. Myers. Back to Brubaker, now Mojica. Dang, tough dig, SAU playing great defense. Brubaker, back dump, couldn't get it. SAU, man, yeah, they're gonna call that a Mojica with the lift. There's been some strong spikes on the day, but the change-ups is what's really getting both teams. The Boo Birds in attendance. SAU Faithful traveled well today. They did. Long drive from Magnolia. Kaylee Brubaker asking about that point. You know, they call her Mother Brew. Why? Because she's terrifying when she's upset. Brubaker looking for Henry down the middle. Tessa! Oh my goodness! She killed that ball dead. Killed it dead. Indeed. We've got some field hockey going on over here. All right. Myers has Brubaker, now Mojica. She passes it over. The attack down the middle. Man, Isla Olivas. Gets a hand on it, but can't, can't keep it up. Yeah, Oliva's crafty and not much you can do with that. Myers with her best shot at it, she couldn't get it. Brubaker with the joust. SAU now a chance. They're looking for Rogers. Rogers got a dugout by Lynch. Malden on the attack. No. Back to Rogers, near side. Malden somehow got to it. Beautiful dig. And Myers gonna hit it over. And oh my goodness, what a play by Lauren Moultrie. That was incredible. That was fantastic from Moultrie. Ball doesn't even make it close to over the net. She read that thing like a book. Indeed. 
11 to nine timeout call by Coach Kevin Ingram. SMU holding on to a two point lead. And we'll take a break and be right back after this. You're watching SMU Volleyball on the Call Sports Network. Renew is the University Counseling Center. We are located at 6710 Northwest 43rd Street, just north of the Webster Commons. Renew offers a variety of services, including individual counseling, couples counseling, and psychoeducational workshops. The first five sessions for students are free, and students will never pay more than $10 per session. Faculty counseling is just $40 per session. Renew is open Monday through Thursday from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m., and Fridays from 11 a.m. until 6 p.m. For more information, visit renew.snu.edu or email renew at mail.snu.edu. And welcome back to the Sire Center, the site of Southern Nazarene University. Evan, we've got a good one on our hands, don't we? We do. The little, second set of this game. A little buzzing in our ears. A little bit. But that's all right. Malden on the attack. Got it sent back. SU another shot at it. That one blocked at the net. SAU back at it. Towards the middle. They'll get the kill. That time it was Lauren Moultrie. And again, Evan, I should probably put the scoreboard on the screen. That would be helpful. Malden, far side, she Here's got it. Rayanna with the kill. Twelve ten, Lynch to serve for SNU. That one pops off the net. Chance for the Mule Riders. They'll take it. Nice, nice dig. dig. Oh, jinx. Myers. Hits it over, picked up again. The Mule Riders will go far side. And that time they'll get it. Off of Brecken Myers, SAU gets the kill. 12-11 now. Morgan Schuster to serve. Brubaker looking for Malden on the far side. A lot of power picked up well. And a set that time for SAU. Couldn't get it. DeLong wasn't there for it. Malden, Five however, was. <laughs> now Brubaker will serve for SNU. Up two, Brubaker sends it away. Mill Riders attack. Man shoots off the hands of Malden down the net. Point, SAU. Now Landry Rogers to serve. We've got a rotation. Whitney Bowie into the game for the first time in a while. She's been taking a break, getting some rest. She'll step back in. Lynch finds Brubaker, but now it's Malden. They'll call a violation against the Storm. Just like that, we're knotted up at 13, Evan. You know, as the student section says, I mean, great, you just can't do that. You can't, yeah, friendly reminder, friendly reminder. Smith with the reception, now down the middle to Bowie. Whitney Bowie, it is welcome back. Net, but it wasn't enough was not even almost enough. It's always good to see Whitney Bowie in the game. Always good. 
Malden to serve, the freshman. Now the Mule Riders looking near side. They had Ava Tanner. That one's out. Point storm. Malden serve, received cleanly. Now down the middle, sent back. Whitney, boom. Evan, don't bring that weak stuff in here. Don't bring it here. That's word for word what was just said by somebody. I'm not sure who. Malden with the serve. Now SAU going near side again, looking for Tanner. Goes with picked the up. up. Bowie. Yes, Finds the hole she once again. did. Oh boy. She has been unstoppable these past couple of always. Timeout called and Evan, you got a buddy for a red, wow, ready for a sideline report. Why don't you introduce us? I do, this is Carter Brock, a fellow football player and he's gonna talk a little bit about what's going on in the game. So, to you. Well, uh, it's really nice to be here. Appreciate the, the invite of the sideline report. Sure. Um, Really just love this matchup. Both teams 4-4 conference play today. Um, great game going back and forth. Bull Riders take set one. Um, like you said, Whitney Bowie going crazy as a return. Um, I think she had four, four kills. Was, yes, uh, she did. That was a few minutes she was in. I love to see that, but uh, very impressive. Her replacement, Abby Conaway, she stepped in big time over the past couple games. Um, Oh, Whitney was out, so I just love to see that. But it's been a great, great fight for the Crimson Storm right now. Love to see them pulling one out today. Thank you, Carter. And uh, we're going to go back to Grant. <laughs> yeah, we'll go back to Grant. How about that? Carter Brock. That's incredible. Another football, now the third football player to put on a headset for volleyball this season. I know. We're going to start keeping a tally, have people sign things. That's awesome. <laughs> Oh man, hey, 7 13, or about well, 17 13. Up, SNU holding on to a four point lead. Rayanna Malden will serve for the storm. We'll get things underway again. Henry, Bachelet, and Bowie in at the front for Southern Nazarene. Four point lead, Malden to serve. Mule Rider setting far side. It's a soft hit dug out by Lynch. Now Brubaker to Tessa Henry. Tessa couldn't get it. Mule Riders going back, same spot. Malden got up for it. Brubaker to Bowie, kept alive. SNU somehow wow. finds a way. You love to see it. Oh my goodness. It's an electric performance from the Christian Storm. Oh my. Eighteen, thirteen. Like we said earlier, once this team gets rolling, I mean, we just cannot be stopped. That ball's out. Point storm. And you're exactly right. Nineteen, thirteen, up six. Hoping to get six more. Malden to serve again. She's been very consistent. I'd love to see us close out the set and go into the third set feeling good, having some momentum. Evan, we just had a sideline report. That was awesome. That was awesome. That was so awesome. And a good sideline report, too. It was. You know, it's a new era. The NIL, man. It is the NIL. It all oh, stems man. from the NIL and the transfer portal. Don't forget about the transfer portal. The transfer portal. 19-14. The serve. It was not yet time. We saw Brubaker do that earlier in the season. That time it wasn't Brubaker, it was Alicia Sanzini. It's a very odd mistake, but a mistake nonetheless. Yeah, you, you would think like, oh, everyone's just waiting for me to serve, I'm just gonna hit it. No, don't do it. Nope. You gotta wait for the whistle. Have to. 19-14, still. This serve will count. Lynch finds Brubaker. Clean set to Bachelet. Got it. Sonny. And she has just been unstoppable at the net, Grant. Yeah, and coming in, this was a group for SAU that was solid 
on the defensive side at the net. But Sunny Bachelet has just had her way on the offensive side. That serve looks long, and it is. Bowie, maybe a little jitters first game back. Just a little bit of stats for you. That's uh, before this game, 360 total kills. Man. That's incredible. Incredible. Now Shaver to serve for SAU. Twenty fifteen is the score. Henry will receive it. Now Brubaker looking for Mohica. Yeah, of course she did. Of course she did. Cannot keep it alive. Tania has been phenomenal, incredible, wonderful, whatever you want to call it. She continues that right there to grab the twenty first point for SNU. Bracken Myers miscue on the serve. Hey, Bryce Burns watching the live stream. Shout out right. to him. Thanks for tuning in, Bryce. Myers finds Mohica. Denia couldn't get it. Chance for SAU. Long hit picked up by Myers. Now Lynch with the pass looking for Finch. No. The attack down the middle. Finch off the kept shoulder, it kept it alive, but it won't be enough. Point. Mule Riders. Man, this is a spot you can't give up a run if you're the Storm. This goes to show how evenly matched these teams are. Greg. Very evenly matched. I mean, there's no deficit too far that one can't come back. Mohica. They'll call a violation. They crossed under. We're going to timeout called by head coach Kevin Ingram, 21-18, SAU starting to roll. We'll take this one with him and be right back after this. One of my favorite things about SNU was the relationships I was able to have with people, with professors, with friends. One thing that was purposely different about SNU was the integration of faith into the academics. I feel like I learned so much from that that helped prepare me for life after college, to be a husband and someday to be a father. It was a really, really transformational time in my life. My degree could have come from anywhere, but my relationships with people, I know I would not have gotten anywhere else. Go to snu.edu to apply or to schedule a visit. And welcome back again to the Sawyer Center. 21-18, SNU holding on to a three-point lead. Evan, are you still feeling good? I'm feeling great. Yes, you yes. Know, I feel like we still have a little bit of control over the, uh, the set, at least. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, if we win the set, when we win the set, uh, we're, we're in good position. Absolutely. Hey, let's take a quick look at SNU's next five matches. They will soon be facing Cameron on the 17th. Then they'll travel to Arkadelphia where they'll see the Tigers and Washita Baptist and the Reddies of Henderson State. Then it will be back home against Southeastern Oklahoma State. And then they travel out to Dallas to face Dallas Baptist, the Patriots. That'll be a fun one to watch. I will. We'll get back underway out of the timeout. Lynch has Myers. Now down the middle is Tessa Henry. SAU is ready for that one. Blocked at the net. Sent back. Chance again for the Mule Riders. This time it gets over, but it's picked up. Chance for SNU. Now Henry, Tessa, did she get it? No, pops a little too high off the net. Will roll out. Point, Mule Riders. Brubaker back into the ball game. Grant, both teams seem to have an answer for that changeup. They do. They've studied up, and now, now they're ready to come back stronger than before. Service ace that time. Speaking of studying up, midterm's coming around. It is. You know, some have already passed. Some are still coming. So you've got the people that are, that are totally done and relaxed, and then the people that are still stressed trying to yes. cram. Mojica on the attack. Got to send back. Another chance. Myers finds Brubaker. Now to the far side. Tessa Henry. Boom. Got it. 22 to 20. Southern Nazarene needs three more. Tatum Smith will rotate in for Henry. And it seems like once these volleys get started, the SAU team just keeps scooting up and up and up, and then the back corners are always exposed. 
A lot of those chains ups doing it. Now the attack far side for SAU. They'll call it out. Cannot find it. Mule Riders wanted contact, didn't get it. They'll give SNU the point. They may talk about this. I have a feeling this one's gonna be overturned, Evan. I do too, it looked into me. As much as I hate to say it, that yeah, was a great game. It looked in and it also looked like there was contact. No, we were way off, Evan. Oh, hold. Never listen to us in the booth. Never. Well, unless, unless you know, you're at home and you want to see Southern Nazarene play some volleyball, but you can't make it to the game. True, true. Then you should listen to us. And see, Grant, that's why we're not holding the flags down on the court. That's why we're up here that's talking. That's so true. Tatum Smith on the serve. Picked up to the far side. Incredible attack, an incredible kill that time. Isla Olivas was there. 23-21. Olivas to serve. Myers, that's Brubaker, now it's Malden. Rihanna found the open corner. Give him the shrug. It's nothing. 24-21. What did I say, the corners are always there. Yes, good always. eyes. Madeline Lynch to serve. One more to seal it. Needing one. They'll line up to the near side. Point Storm. Battle seal set number two. Evan, we set it at the break going into the second. This is one you need if you're SNU, and they'll get it. 25-21. What did you see about that one? I mean, that is a good sign for the Storm. We, we hung in there. They, they did come back a little bit, but it just wasn't enough. We, we had a, a, a big start, big lead from the beginning, and that's yes. all we needed was to close out the second set. And now we're going into the third set with a little bit of momentum. It's one to one. And uh, let's just see how this plays out. Yeah, six point run in that one was big for SNU. Oh, they yeah. held on to that lead the rest of the way. Incredible stuff from the storm. Speaking of incredible, have you ever visited Apple Tree Antique Gallery? I have not. Well, here, we're going to give you a quick preview. We'll be right back. Character, culture, and Christ have been the motto for Southern Nazarene University for many, many years. When I came as president, uh, I was really curious about those words and really curious to dig into the archives. In fact, a, a conversation on campus uh, one day with a visitor to our campus who asked that same question, what does character, culture, and Christ mean today? These days, I like to talk about refining character. I think that uh, we're all in process. and. In those collegiate years, those years of a university experience, there's a great opportunity to refine character. And we are back, heading into the third set. Me and Grant were just talking about how, how big of an impact Whitney Bowie had coming into the game, scoring six straight points. And that was just a really big momentum turner for the uh, Crimson Storm. We really needed those. Uh, that's that's part of what got us ahead, secured the second set, and uh, looking forward to what she can do in the third set and uh, moving on in the game. So. Yeah, Whitney Bowie stepping in in a big way. Got a couple days to take a break. Much needed rest and relaxation. Sometimes you just got to do it. Everybody does. Just got to do it. Take a nap. I plan on taking a nap later today, mm -hmm. hopefully. Probably not, actually, now that I think about it. Probably not happening. However. SNU just won set number two. We're knotted up at one apiece in sets. We'll get ready for the third. Evan, are you excited? I stay excited, Grant. That's what I like to hear. That's what I like to hear. Welcome, welcome to broadcasting. Thank you. Thank you very much. It is great to be here. It's great to have you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, man. 
We're just about ready to get things back underway here in the Sire Center at Bethany, Oklahoma, home of the Crimson Storm. Serving for SAU will be Morgan Schuster, the 5'11 senior. Schuster came into today with 28 service aces, leading her team. Those are some impressive numbers, Grant. I don't know about you, but that, I couldn't do that. Very impressive. Schuster. Picked up well, Brubaker looking for Malden. Right off the bat, ran a Malden, quick kill. Talk about the velocity on that ball. Absolutely. That ball's out. O-U-T out. Point storm. Grant, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to keep it in between the lines to get a point. Correct me if I'm wrong. No, yeah, I think you're starting to get this game down. We'll the attack there. near side. That one out as well, man. That one just barely. SAU wanted contact, didn't get it. The attack was by Landry Rogers, and it was a strong swing. She couldn't line it up. 3-0 lead for the Storm. It's very close, very close. Malden serving. The line up, looking for DeLong. Couldn't get it down, Lynch over to Bachelette. Sonny with the kill! Four nothing to start off set number three. Malden lines up again. The dump picked up easily by Lynch. Now Brubaker to Henry. Tessa will push. Not much doing. The far side poked up at the net and the finish from Lauren Moltwright will get the Mule Riders on the board. No, yes. This cue from the refs. SAU on the board, 4-1. Now Landry Rogers to serve. Brubaker. Over to Henry, Tessa Henry with the hit. Now DeLong couldn't get it. And Mojica with the kill. Clips the net, but it doesn't matter. It makes it over, and that's, that's a great hit. Now sometimes that makes it harder to pick up on the defensive side. Just shoots off the trajectory a little it bit. It's like a tipped pass in football sometimes. I know how your football mind is. You gotta connect the dots sometimes. No, that does make a lot of sense to me. I'm, uh, thank you for making this. <laughs> I was a little lost before. The attack far side, oh my goodness, that was incredible. Jada Hudson, second on the team and kills, and she stepped up and proved why right there, 5-2. And you know what they say, it's all in the flick of the wrist. Yeah, that was good, that was good. Thank you. Service error for Alicia Sanzini. Another uncommon service error, and I know as soon as I say that, we're gonna be seeing a lot more of them, but, but they just really have been rare this, this game. Myers to serve now, they really have. You're exactly right. <laughs> so up near side, that kill is wide open for Katie DeLong. Finds the middle, and you, cannot, you just cannot leave that open. You can't. Now Macy Shaver, the junior out of Prosper, Texas. This SAU team with a little bit of pushback. Brubaker the dump. Recovered by SAU, they'll hit it over. Another chance for the Storm. And Myers tried to go back with it. Mule Riders set near side, they'll get the kill. Great communication by the Mule Riders. I mean, that, that was just perfectly executed. 
not one of them had no idea what was going on. <laughs> it's a double negative. Yeah, quite a way to put that, Evan. <laughs> so Carlin Whaley with the kill. Now we'll see the serve from Macy Shaver. Brubaker to Bowling. Kills Whitney. It. Yes. Cuts like a knife. You love to see it. <laughs> Good grief. Evan. So true. Tatum Smith on the serve. That one was going to go out, but they'll pick it up, attack down the middle, and get it anyway. Man, you blink, and it's 5-7. to seven. Hudson to serve. Tatum Smith with some trouble. And Jada Hudson will get the ace. Hudson back to the line, following her service ace, the error from Smith. She'll look to repeat that. Brubaker finds Malden. Malden got it blocked. SNU another chance, this time to Bowie. And Bowie off the mark. Can't keep it in. Just like that, we're knotted up at seven. Tatum has Kaylee. Now Malden got the kill. No chance for a block of the net. 8 7. Malden takes the lead back. Joust at the net, won by Mohica. We'll give SNU the point. The Mule Riders line up on the far side. Nearly dug out by Myers, but the kill is there. Wonderful execution from SAU. Some great effort by the Crimson Storm. I mean, we had two people on the ground diving for that ball. Yeah. I mean, they just don't know when to quit. You would not see me doing that. No. Brew Baker trying to go for the long dump, couldn't get it. Sit back at the net. Malden, Mohica, Mo problems. It's 10-8. Brubaker to serve. Now lined up near side. That time, Carlin Whaley will get it. Morgan Schuster. Picked up the attack from Malden. The execution, no. Man, and a miscue that time from Bachelette. We're knotted up at 10 again. This set much tighter than the last, Evan. Schuster on the serve, picked up by Tatum Smith. Brubaker finding Malden. Malden, no. Now the Mule Riders, they'll look for Rogers. Rogers couldn't get it. Brubaker back to Sonny. And again, long point. Jada Hudson hits it over from way downtown. Brubaker looking for Malden. Rayanna! Yes! Another great kill by the Crimson Storm. 11-10, Tessa Henry will rotate in for Tatum Smith. Get a little more offense on the floor, Evan. And I think that's the right move at this point in the, in the set. I mean, we need to pull away a little bit. 
The dump, man, Mojica thought she had it for a moment. It'll fall on the wrong side. Quick reaction, just not enough. Not quite quick enough. Brubaker, back set, has Bachelet blocked at the net. Point, SAU. Incredible defense that time. It was incredible defense. This SAU team can just read. Yes, they can read. They're in college. <laughs> you cut Sorry, me off. Evan. You didn't let me Sorry, Evan. I had to do it. I they, had to do it. They can read our kills. Brubaker finding Tessa Henry. Tessa couldn't get it. Now the Mill Riders back. Brubaker back to Tessa. Tessa! Henry! What a volley there. We're knotted up at 12. Now Madeline Lynch. She'll serve. The set. Looking near side and the kill for Katie DeLong. Back and forth ball game in front of us. Alicia Sanzini. Now Brubaker looking for Tessa Henry again, no. Tries to go with the change up there. Brubaker. To Bowie, Whitney giving some trouble. Not enough to finish the point, but asking you another chance. This time, Sonny going for it on the far side. Defensive touch, and they'll call it against the storm. Across the line. Point SAU. Can you tell me a little bit about that call, Grant? Yeah, if you're on the back line and you approach, you can't cross. I see. Yeah. Stepped on the line before jump. Think uh, three-pointer to two-pointer, Evan. You've got to shoot it from behind the line. Gotcha. I'm just up here talking about other sports. You are. You know, it's okay. this is a volleyball game. That's <laughs> good observation. You are doing wonderful. We'll get a timeout call today. We'll take this one with them. You're watching SNU Volleyball on the Call Sports Network. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the Sawyer Center. Evan, are you still feeling good? Yeah, they are pulling away a little bit, but I think coming out of this little timeout, we can we can make something happen, kind of kind of have a little bit of a reverse momentum, you know? Yeah, you know, I mean, it's a game of runs. It is. It's it a really game of is. runs. We saw a 6-0 run in favor of the Storm last set, which essentially put the nail in the coffin for that set. It did. It just goes to show just how how like one little contribution can, can add up over yeah, time. Yeah, for sure. This is a good song. It's a great song. I'm trying not to sing right now because we're on air. Let it out, man. I'm not going to. Not going to. The people want to hear. I did sing, well, I'm not really sing, but I played the banjo yesterday, Evan, there you go. on stage. That was a good time. Man of many talents. Yeah, two talents. Banjo and, um, Talking. I guess this, yeah. yeah. And putting the scoreboard back on the screen. <laughs> Brubaker over to Bachelet. SAU keeps it alive. They'll attack now. Now Tessa Henry. We'll give it to Brubaker. She'll pass it over. Malden on the attack. 
That's a bit out. Point, SAU. Cannot keep it in between the lines. Like a bad driver. <laughs> yeah, another, another talent, eating chicken. There, there we go. go. There we go. Clips the net, barely makes it over. Yeah, how about that for Madeline Lynch? Wow. And Tessa Henry found the open spot. What a, what a beautiful spot. Incredible. Breckin Myers to serve now. On the attack. Yeah, Katie DeLong got it. Thought for a moment it was gonna be out. Instead, she'll get the 17th point. It doesn't get much closer than that, Grant. Right on the line. Yeah. That's a great spot by the line, Judge. Indeed. Now a serve from Shaver. Myers finding Brew Baker, man. Tough spot there. SAU now up five. And a timeout call by head coach Kevin Ingram and the Southern Nazarene Crimson Storm. Evan, we're gonna send this away with him. We'll be right back after this. Character, culture, and Christ have been the motto for Southern Nazarene University for many, many years. When I came as president, uh, I was really curious about those words and really curious to dig into the archives. In fact, a conversation on campus uh, one day with a visitor to our campus who asked that same question, what does character, culture, and Christ mean today? These days, I like to talk about refining character. I think that uh, we're all in process. and. In those collegiate years, those years of a university experience, there's a great opportunity to refine character. And welcome back to the Sawyer Center. I'm Grant McNew alongside Evan Rader watching some Southern Nazarene Volleyball Great American Conference. Coming your way, we're here in set number three. Where four and four in conference play, SNU is facing another four and four in conference play, SAU, Battle of the Southerns here in the Sawyer Center. Glad to have you alongside. Well, SNU gave up a service ace. I put them down five just a moment ago, and following the timeout from Kevin Ingram, we'll see how they respond. We will continue to see Macy Shaver serving for the Mule Riders. And here we go. Now Shaver on the serve. Over to Brubaker. Kaylee made a collision on the floor. Myers and Brubaker got at it. They'll get back up. Brubaker now. Looking for Bowie down the middle. Whitney Bowie, no. Now the attack near side. Malden will pick it up. Myers passes it over. The set towards the middle. Light tap. Brubaker to Myers. Now Tessa Henry. Tessa, no. Long point, Evan. Long point. SAU looking to expand their five point lead. Myers looking for the corner. Couldn't find it. SAU will hit it and they'll get it. That's a huge point for the Mule Riders. And you hate to see the block at the net and it hits out of bounds. It's like such a great play, but it doesn't matter. Shaver to serve again. Brubaker setting, finds Henry, blocked at the net, kept alive. Now Bowie at it. Can't get it. Chance for Whaley, picked up by Myers. Brubaker down the middle to Bowie, kept it soft. And that's gonna score. Beautiful. 14-19. I 
And that's really just what the Storm needs is to get rolling is just just a couple little points here and there, you know? Indeed. The Healy's are back. They are back. Wonderful news. And they're better than ever. Big win for the program, as the kids are saying. Tatum Smith on the serve. Received well, and the kill from Jada Hudson is there. It is tipped at the net, but not enough to block. Now she got it just around, shot off the side of the arm. Strong attack from Hudson. Now she'll serve. Brubaker finding Bowie. Whitney Bowie! Whistle blows. Whitney Bowie pleading her case. And we'll get a replay, it looks like. And a discussion. Evan, do you read lips? I cannot read lips, no. That's a shame. We'll get all four. Here we go. I love I love the music. It's a great touch. It, it really is. It Score. Adds to the moment. Look at that. They'll give the point to SNU. Now Macy Shaver wondering what's going on. SAU faithful beside themselves. And you really fear for, feel for the referees, no matter what call they make, one side is gonna be mad at them. Yeah, one side or the other is going to be upset. As it stands, SNU holding on to their 15th point. Macy Shaver doing her best to make a case, but at this point, once it's already been decided, not much you can do. Not much you can do. So it's 15 to 20. Caitlin Branson will rotate in to serve for Bowie. That's a big point for the Storm. That's a big point. They needed that one desperately. You gotta do better, come on! Caitlin Branson to serve. Now the attack. Dug out by Branson, Malden going at it. She's sitting back. And Carlin Whaley will score off the block. No room to breathe for the Crimson Storm. Absolutely none. You got to get it going right now. Arguably one of the most pivotal sets in the game. The Indeed. Set. This is big. Malden got point. it. Ray with the kill. She saw the opening in the middle of the court. And she, she did. Took it. Yes. 16 21. Kaylee Brubaker will serve for SNU. Trying to overcome a five point deficit. The Mule Riders line it up on the near side into the net. Carlin Whaley couldn't get it over. Point storm. And as Grant would say, a miscue. A miscue indeed. By the field riders. You know, I also love saying the word indeed. Indeed, you do. I think it's <laughs> I think it's very funny. It is. Brew Baker. With her serve. SAU with a long hit over. Now Kaylee looking for Malden. Malden with the kill. 18-21, Southern Arkansas. And that is the little burst that you need. Yes, it is. Timeout called, and you need that burst. Like you said, it was do or die time, it felt like, for the Storm. Was. And boy, did they. They did. They did. Man, Evan, what are you liking so far? I mean, I like how we've held our composure despite being down by, was it a max of six points? Yes. We, we did not lose our, our cool. We stayed in the game. And now we've got, we're behind by three points. Uh, Trying to, trying to get this third set under wraps. So yeah. Evan, down three. Still not much breathing room, really no breathing room if you're SNU. None at all. 
How do you come out of a timeout and stay locked in? I mean, you've got to just be dominant on the on the, uh, the serves, on the spikes. You gotta you gotta be communicating within your team, and really just hope the SAU has some miscues, like you say. Yes. You know, I, I think this first point coming out of the timeout is going to be huge. We've seen SNU struggle with that at times. But on those times that they come out of the timeout and get that first point, they seem to roll. So I think you need this point particularly if you're SNU. They will. This, this point right here is one of the most important of the game. Kaylee Brubaker will serve for Southern Nazarene. And we'll see what she can do. Clean serve, Kaylee with the ace. That's big. Ace, ace, in your face. There. Yes, Evan, yes. That's the miscue that we needed. You know, we had two mule riders dive oh, for man. the same ball. Brubaker serving again. Brubaker finds the corner. Untouched, Kaylee. Two aces in a row. SNU within one. You love to see it. This one picked up much more cleanly, but it doesn't matter. SNU's tied it up at 21. The Crimson Storm is rolling in, Grant. Yes. Yes, they are. Come on. Brubaker to serve again. Three straight. SAU will attack far side. Kept alive by Brubaker. Now Bachelet working around to get to it. She does. They'll attack the middle. They'll get it. Lauren Moltwright from Fairburn, Georgia. Got it. Brubaker. Find Sonny! Oh my goodness! Wow! Sonny Bachelet! Have mercy! And coming out of that timeout, you just see SNU has so much life. You just love to see it. 22 apiece. Rihanna Malden will serve the freshman. For the second time today, it was not yet time for the serve. It's the nerves, man. They just get to you. Oh, my goodness. Malden. Hines it up. Now the attack. It's there. The kill. Katie DeLong. Back and forth, Evan. Back and forth. It is. Landry Rogers. A little bit of break in the action, Grant. Yeah, she's waiting for her turn to serve, standing straight in front of the student section. Do you see any of your friends over there? I do. Who it's are a they? Couple. Let's let's name a couple. I want to see Bryson Evans. Yes. Asa Robertson. Carter Brock. Carter Brock's over there. Anthony Cox is over there. Lane Hairgrove. Oh yeah. I mean, you've just got everyone. Everyone's over there. Yeah, and I think that covers just about all of all of the ones that we need to name. There's a few more. There's a few more. Well, we'll, we'll leave that, uh, you know, to mystery. Yeah, yeah. And it looks like that's just everybody over there. Yeah, this is actually taking quite some time. Looks like a stats issue. Maybe the computer, oh, I hope that computer didn't die. That would be unfortunate. That would, you always gotta charge your computer. Always. I think it's plugged in. Speaking of plugged in, let's get plugged in here. It's 22-23. Set to serve is Landry Rogers. 
as we're back underway. Hearing a little bit of thunder, and we're waiting for the lightning from the Crimson Storm. Rogers will get the go ahead, and here we go. SNU trailing one, 23 22. Brubaker, back set, has Bachelet. Sonny couldn't get the kill. Now the Mule Riders go soft. Man, and Lynch went all out. Tries to get the dig, but just can't. Set point on the way. Now the serve, picked up by Malden. Tessa, yes! Tessa Henry! That's big! And they will not go down easy, Grant. It's survival time for the Storm. 23-24, Madeline Lynch to serve. The attack near side, Malden, great dig. Brubaker to Bowie, Whitney Bowie! You know it! Twenty-four apiece. We're knotted up. Lynch. That's her serve picked up. Soft attack. Chance here for the Storm. Brubaker to Henry. Tessa blocked. It's kept alive. Now Bachelet will hit it over. Mule Riders line up. They're looking for Sunzini. Rather DeLong. Now Sonsini passes over to Hudson. Long point. Both teams looking for their 25th. The pass near side. DeLong. No. Brubaker. Miscue there. Malden is able to save it. They do keep it alive. Once more. Chance here for the storm. Brubaker towards the middle. Man. Bowie thought it was going over. Tried to give it a light tap. Couldn't do it. Indeed. 25-24. SNU back into survival mode. Sonny Bachelet trying to tie her shoes. Indeed. Free timeout, question mark. Not sure any talking went on right there, so if so, wasted timeout. <laughs> Malden has Brew Baker. Now it's Tessa Henry blocked. That's going to seal set number three. SMU couldn't pull it out. 24 26 in the third. Well, Grant, the Mule Riders are finding some success. Uh, and I'm just wanting to know I'm hearing from uh, some of the people in the, in the stands. Uh, you're from Arkansas. Have you ever ridden a mule? I have not ridden a mule not. that I'm aware of. Oh. Um, usually you don't do you that. Don't? No. I thought that was just like an Arkansas thing. That would be more like you put a plow on the mule. I see. Yes. I see. Have you done that before? No. No, not on a mule. We have tractors now. Tractors? Yes. I see. We have tractors now. Hey, let's take a quick break and be right back for set number four. SNU down two to one in sets. We'll be right back. Character, culture, and Christ have been the motto for Southern Nazarene University for many, many years. When I came as president, uh, I was really curious about those words and really curious to dig into the archives. In fact, a conversation on campus uh, one day with a visitor to our campus who asked that same question, what does character, culture, and Christ mean today? These days, I like to talk about refining character. I think that uh, we're all in process. and in those collegiate years, those years of a university experience, there's a great opportunity to refine character.
Renew is the University Counseling Center. We are located at 6710 Northwest 43rd Street, just north of the Webster Commons. Renew offers a variety of services, including individual counseling, couples counseling, and psychoeducational workshops. The first five sessions for students are free, and students will never pay more than $10 per session. Faculty counseling is just $40 per session. Renew is open Monday through Thursday from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m., and Fridays from 11 a.m. until 6 p.m. For more information, visit renew.snu.edu or email renew at mail.snu.edu. And welcome back, volleyball fans, to this very, very tight game between SAU and SNU. And uh, just this last set, me and Grant were talking, and uh, I mean, the two aces that we had, we thought we, we could keep that momentum. But man, the SAU just hung in there, and uh, they made it happen. Yeah, and credit to the Mule Riders with that. And we talked about this a little bit in the pregame and throughout the game as well. This is a very strong Mule Rider squad. Very strong. Four and four, yes, but as is SNU, and they're dangerous. There's a lot that goes into those losses, a lot that goes into the wins. Bottom line is these are solid teams going at it, and you get crazy things like we just saw. That's going to happen, and we've seen it all afternoon. And in the Great American Conference, you cannot overlook teams. I mean, there's Absolutely no not. team that is out even, of the game. Even Arkansas Monticello, who has yet to win a game, came in and performed and fought they for did. every point in every set. They did. They, they came and showed out. Yes. Uh, didn't didn't uh, score as many as they wanted to, didn't end up winning the game. Uh, but but still, every, every opponent is formidable in this conference. So true. And that's what makes it so much fun. Well, it's kind of do or die time, isn't it, Evan? It is. It is do but or die time. But in a much broader sense this time. Yes. I mean, we've had a lot of do or die little moments, but this is really for the war. And we, we've been talking about the battle, but I mean, this is it all comes down to this set right here. Kaylee Brubaker will start things off with the serve for SNU. She's been very solid this game. Brubaker's serve picked up well. The attack down the middle kept alive by Kaylee. Now Malden at it. No trouble for the Mule Riders. They'll come near side and convert. SAU with the first point they split of the set difference. number four. They did. Could be an ace here, and it will be. It is. Man, that one hurt, Seven. In that time, it was an ace, ace in our face. Yeah, Landry Rogers with a big ace right there to make it 2 nothing. Rogers, that's Tatum Smith. Man, another ace. Looked like for a second Tatum was gonna get that back over the net. Instead, SAU's up 3-0. And similarly to how the last set started. I was about to say, if the trend <laughs> continues, this could be good for us. <laughs> so what you're saying is SNU down three on purpose. We, we might have done it on purpose. That might have <laughs> been just a great coaching move. And I would not be surprised. Well, now they're down four after that kill from SAU. You've got to get this point if you're the Storm. You do. You cannot find yourself in another six-point, five-point deficit. Rogers on the serve. Received well. Brubaker looking for Sonny Bachelet. That one's dug out. Now the attack. That time Hudson couldn't get it. Rubeka looking for Mojica down the middle. Finds the corner once again. Mojica just with the doctor order that time. Yes, and if you're SAU, that is not what you want in your sandwiches. That's <laughs> volleyballs. Yeah, you do not want to eat that. No, you don't. Malden will serve. The freshman. Gives it away, now SAU and opportunities, they get it cleanly, and they'll take advantage. Evan, it's 5-1. It is, I can see that. Yeah. 
Now Sunzini to serve. Tough serve, but it's kept alive by Malden. SAU a chance on the offensive side. A nice dig. attack. Good defensive touch, still alive. Nobody there to clean it up. Slight miscommunication by the storm. Timeout call by Coach Kevin Ingram, and it just feels like, Kevin, there's no breath in SNU's lungs right now. It does. Deflated balloon. Hey, let's take a quick break and be right back for some more Great American Conference action. You're watching SNU Volleyball on the call, Sports Network. We'll see you guys. And welcome back to the Sawyer Center. Score 6-1. SAU opened up this fourth set with a 6-1 run. They'll look to continue that here as we're back underway. Evan, are you still feeling good? I'm feeling less good. <laughs> but I think if we can get some, I mean, like I said earlier, the momentum is, yeah. is, is what it is in this game. Like, uh, if, you can, if you can keep it on your side, I mean, that's, that's really what you want, and that's how you turn games around. Brubaker finds Sonny with the kill. Sonny Bachelet with the long arm of the law. And you can see the fire kind of reigniting in this Crimson Storm team. I mean, the sideline is getting hype over there. Madeline Lynch serving. SAU takes control. They'll go long hit. Picked up. Now Brubaker looking for Sonny again. Yes! That's two kills in a row. SNU down three. Lynch to serve again. Madeline with a deep serve. Now it's lined up for the attack. The attack is there, and the kill goes to Katie DeLong. Good point there for the Mule Riders. Now Shaver to serve. Henry has Brubaker, now Sonny Bachelet. Got it! Yes, she did! That's her third kill of this little stretch. And if I'm SNU, I'm, I'm just gonna keep serving it up to her. Oh, absolutely. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Find the hot hand, and right now, Sunny Bachelet on fire. She rotates out, we'll get a quick breather. Now the attack. Somehow, Madeline Lynch got it back over the net with the dig. Talk about fast reflexes, man. Brubaker looking for Bowie. Whitney Bowie, no. Chance, no. Into the net, Bowie. That hurts. Just barely misses the ball, and that would have been deadly. Looked like Whitney's eyes got real wide on that one. I've fallen victim to that many times, both on tennis courts and pickleball courts. Uh, Got to stay out of the kitchen. Got to stay out of the kitchen. Brubaker looking for Tessa, rather Whitney Bowie. Goes with the changeup. Now the attack. Good defensive touch. Brubaker gets it back over. Little trouble for the Mule Riders. They recollect and they'll go soft. Brubaker fighting to keep it alive. Not enough. It's four to nine. I do like going for the back line. There tends to be one Mule Rider back there and if you can get it past her, that's a point every time. Now the serve from Hudson. Malden receives. Brubaker passing, finds. Tessa Henry, and Henry with the kill. You love to see it. Sonsini put on her seat, trying to receive that one, couldn't do it. Some heat on that ball. Man, Evan, this is just good volleyball on both sides. It is very much so. That served just a bit out, barely. 
And again, simple mistake, that hurts. Yes. We just seem to keep shooting ourselves in the foot whenever we're getting a little bit of momentum to come back. Isla Olivas on the serve, Brubaker looking for Malden. Some trouble from the Mule Riders, Malden will score. Back within four. Whitney Bowie now to serve. Storm still holding on to that little heartbeat. Line up near side, defensive touches there. Doesn't matter. Point SAU. Now Morgan Schuster will rotate in to serve. And she came into today with 28 service aces, leading her team. She's sitting just outside of the top 100 in the nation in service aces. Those are some impressive numbers, Grant. Yeah, that kill's impressive as well. SAU now doubling up the storm, 6-12. Looking dominant the past couple points. That serves a bit out. Point Storm. You needed that. Doesn't great. matter how you get it, you needed a point there. So true, Grant. It's a great eye by our back row. Seven to 12. Kaylee Brubaker will serve, trying to get the Storm back into it. SU trails two to one in terms of sets. This could potentially be the final set if the Mule Riders have their way. Another miscommunication by the Crimson Storm. Yeah, Landry Rogers, who's been fantastic serving today, will step back and send it away. Brubaker over to Malden. Rihanna, and she had an open spot. Fantastic effort by Jada Hudson to get there and seal it. Now Bachelet looking for the spot as well. Couldn't find it. I say you keeps it alive. Bachelet back at it. Looking for the back line. No. Might have been a little high. The ball is touched at the net, but not enough to go over. Yeah, and again, the effort is there. Things just not falling SNU's way. Timeout called on the floor. My head coach, Kevin Ingram, hey, we'll take this with him and be right back. You're watching Southern Nazarene Volleyball on the Call Sports Network. Character, culture, and Christ have been the motto for Southern Nazarene University for many, many years. When I came as president, uh, I was really curious about those words and really curious to dig into the archives. In fact, a, a conversation on campus uh, one day with a visitor to our campus who asked that same question, what does character, culture, and Christ mean today? These days, I like to talk about refining character. I think that uh, we're all in process. and. In those collegiate years, those years of a university experience, there's a great opportunity to refine character. And welcome back to the Sawyer Center, the home of Southern Nazarene, who trails by seven at seven to 14. Football score, Evan, and you know a little bit about football scores. I do, yes. Big game coming up tomorrow, isn't that right? We do, uh, South Eastern. Yes. yes, sir. <laughs> Quick test. Quick test, I know. <laughs> Get me on my feet. Landry Rogers, the junior, will serve for SAU to get things started again. And SAU up by seven. Brubaker setting at Bachelette. She'll just give it away. Now SAU on it. Blocked, kept alive. And Malden hits it over. Now the Mule Riders attacking far side, and that is just textbook. Not much you can do about that, Evan. Not much you can do. Katie DeLong with the kill. Now Rogers back to serve again. That time it's out. 
Service error. The Storm's down seven again. Tessa Henry will rotate in for Tatum Smith. And Malden will serve. Malden serve, giving some trouble. Ace, Malden. Line him up and knock him down. That's what we need. 15-9. Six points to cover right here. And oh wow. my goodness. Lauren Moultrie. Good grief. They weren't even on the same page. They were on the same sentence right there. I mean, talk about working together. That was beautiful. Indeed it was. Sanzini to serve. Looked out and it was. SNU down six again. And here's the thing, Evan, you don't need it all back right now. You get two, you give one, you're feeling good. You are feeling good. I mean, that's all you need. Just two steps forward, one step back sometimes. That's what, you, that's what you can do. Now the attack. Kept alive, Malden, good move. Bowie gives it over. Mule Riders back at it to the far side. It's been there for him lately. Brubaker looking for Henry. Tessa, no, Mule Riders keep it alive. This time, man, that was gonna go out it looked like. Malden keeps it up though. Henry on the push. Mule Riders go at it again. Defensive touch is there. Henry now. Into the net, point, SAU. Did not make it over. 17-10. Now if you're SNU, you start to feel like you need it all back. Looks a little bit more grim, but there's no, no hole that we can't climb out of, Grant. We can always come back. Malden on the reception. Little trouble with it, they'll pass it over. Good effort by Henry to bring it back. Now Bachelet to Brubaker. Brubaker looking for Bowie. That time SAU ready. And they'll get the kill. 18 10 now. Mule Riders controlling the fourth. Now serve from Shaver. Brubaker has Tessa on the far side. Shaver passing. That one nearly blocked. Instead, SAU gets to 19. Well, Evan, you've got to do something pretty incredible at this point. I mean, we've just got to find something to hang on to. Something to, to plan off of and, and try to come back. That's what it all comes down to. Brubaker has Henry Tessa. No, and the defense for SAU is fantastic. Phenomenal. And it's turning into offense like you see right there. Again, every lane that's open keeps closing immediately. The, the best defense is a good offense. Well, that, that time it was just good defense. <laughs> 10 point deficit, down double digits. SAU with 20. If they get five more, it's over. Now set up, Sonny Bachelet with the kill. No chance for a return on that one. Absolutely none. And that might just be what we need to get this turned around. Can only hope. Kaylee Marshall into the game for SMU, the freshman. She's got some athleticism. Wow, athleticism. <laughs> athleticism. Words are hard. Sometimes. That one into the net, attacking air. Jada Hudson couldn't get it over that time. Myers to serve again. Brecken keeps it short. SAU, bodies going onto the ground. They'll get it over. Brubaker 
Looking far side for Marshall. Not much doing. Chance now for SAU, they'll get it. 21-12. Mule Riders in control. Granite was looking there for a second. We might have had what we need, but even still, there's no deficit too far in this conference to come back from. SNU stays in it. Nine point deficit. I have hope. Brubaker, looking for Richardson, no. Good defensive play. Marshall hits it out. Point Mule Riders. Hey, kind of a uh, look towards the future here for SNU faithful. You got three freshmen out on the floor out of the four in your class. The only one you're not seeing right now, Emma Grace Monomog. They look solid. Service error there. Marshall rotates out. Tatum Smith will come in to serve. And it is always good to see freshmen playing. Oh yeah, and a great freshman class as well. You've heard a lot of people around the department rave about those girls. There's another error point, Storm. The future is bright. It is bright. Is what I'm trying to say. It is Very bright. bright. The storm will just keep on growing. Now set up to the near side, blocked at the net. Beautiful. Brubaker was there with Richardson. That time it gets over. SAU inches closer. SNU hoping for a miracle. Olivas, her serve. Now Malden on the attack. Malden will get it. That might just be what they need, Grant. 15, 23. Man, quite the optimist. I am quite the optimist. Madeline Lynch to serve. That one's over. Chance here for SAU. Couldn't get it over. Looks like an illegal touching to me. It was. The lift. She caught it. 16-23. Lynch to serve again. Need a seven point run here. SAU will give a point away to the Storm. They handed them that one. Six points now. Timeout called by the Mule Riders. Evan. Grant. You're six away. Still takes a miracle, even if this is the starting point. It does. But you still got to hit that volleyball. You do. And, and that's what we're great at. Yes. We've Indeed. been hitting it all game. The entire game has included hitting the volleyball. It has. Fun fact, for those at home, you do have to hit the volleyball to win volleyball you games. You do. You do. Hey, SNU down two sets to one if SAU gets two more points. Then this match is over. However, down six, if you can get to 24 of your SMU, you at least extend the game. So you need seven, really a seven to one run right here. And, and we really just need all the support that we can get from the fans, the student section. I hey, mean, they're rocking. They are, they are. I hear that it's actually a noise warning due to the loudness of the student section. It is. The volume. Ah. They've got earplugs that they're handing out to the fans. And see, that's a good thing to see. Indeed. 17-23. Southern Nazarene down. Things looking bleak. They've still got a little bit of life. Heart still beating. No room for error. And this new team, I mean, we need to play to win attacking instead of instead of trying to keep from losing. A freshman I mean, from Bentonville West out in Bentonville, Arkansas with the serve. That was Riley Richardson. Now Malden with the kill. And that's what I'm talking about right there, the attack. That's what we need. That's how we'll come back and win this game. You got it, you got it. Come on, 
Riley Richardson will rotate out. Caitlin Branson comes in to serve. Branson serve. Picked up well. Chance for the Mule Riders. They got it. No, they that did it. Out. Oh my goodness. Evan, boy, I hate to say this. I don't think you should. That was egregious. That was bad. Service error from Branson. Another very rare service error from the, for the Storm. Let's go, Morgan! 19-24, it's match point. SAU with the serve. Schuster serve, picked up by Myers. Brubaker sets, looking for Malden. Rayanna can't get it. This could be it. It is not. Brubaker looking for Conaway. Yes. Brings it within four. Now Brubaker to serve. And this is who you want serving in the situation. 20 to 24, Kaylee Brubaker to serve. SAU lines it up. And they'll win it. And they close it out. That'll do it. The Mule Riders had a scare here in the fourth. But overall, they will finish. Three to one is the count for the sets. Great game. SAU moves back over 500 in conference play. They're five and four in the GAC. SNU down to four and five. Evan. Great. How about it? Not good, but not bad. I mean, we held our own in this game. We had a chance to win all throughout, even through the very end, whenever we were behind by six, seven points. I mean, bringing it back in. Uh, I mean, that's what, that's what you like to see, even losing. I mean, that's, that's a good way to lose, is staying in the game. Yeah, and, and here's the takeaway there. You got down early in the fourth set, and at that point, you know, it's not over, but it's over. You know what I'm saying? And then you fight back and you, and you battle, bring in some freshmen that play extremely well. Here's what you take away. Hey, this team's salty. Oh, yeah. This team's tough. It does say a lot about your team. Indeed. It says a lot about the grit that you have on, that, on the bench and on the court. I mean, that's, that's what you need. Yeah, hey, a tough loss here. But, again, that doesn't really spell the season. You're still looking at a run to the conference tournament if you're SNU. You feel like you'll get in. You feel like you're almost a lock to get in. But hey, for us, that's going to do it. Next time out will be October 17th here in the Sawyer Center. Non-conference opponent Cameron coming to play. But for the time being, I'm Grant McNew. That's Evan Rader. We're saying goodbye and good night. Until next time. Oh.